Welcome to our first day of the Adobe Illustrator 5 Day Challenge. This is Jason Seacrest. I will be your host and we will be going through drawing with your mouse today. So we're going to actually do two different versions of this and it's just about what type of tools you actually have available. So if you're brand new, I don't expect everyone to have a bunch of Wacom tablets or a, a huge expensive setup. So we're going to go through some really, really basic tools that you can be using just with your mouse. Now whenever I say mouse, I do have an external mouse, so what I definitely recommend is not to use a laptop keypad. So if you are doing that, you are going to have one heck of a time trying to do Illustrator. So that is definitely the one thing that I would definitely try to avoid. So to get yourself an external mouse, but that's really about it. What we're going to be doing is using a very limited palette, especially with our tools during this five day challenge so we can get you kind of cut up the speed you can kind of ignore the things that you're not going to be using that frequently so we can get you out of that uncomfortable phase rather quickly and we can actually do that pretty quick here so what we're going to be doing is let's just open up our layers window you should have already opened up your adobe illustrator kind of on that promo or a kind of our, our initial videos we've already kind of set that up now illustrator is a tool or a program that you're going to want to do shortcuts with. So as we go through this, I'm going to start saying all of the keyboard shortcuts just so you can start doing it. Because what you're going to realize very quickly is your mouse is going to go back and forth and it's going to drive you crazy. So it is going to solve a lot of issues if you start using your shortcuts. So your left hand, I am a ready, the left hand should be hanging out on the keyboard. Okay. So just notice that we're going to be using spacebar, C, A, V, Z is zoom. We're going to be using shift, alt, or control. So all of those hanging out on the left side of the keyboard is where most of those shortcuts are. All right, so I'm going to click on Z just so we can zoom in. I'm going to hold down shift, and we are going to do all of these points together. So we're going to focus just on this area right now. Now, first, we're going to click on P, and just so you can see how silly and easy this is, is we're just going to click on those points. I'm going to click on P to reset and I'm not doing anything. So I'm just basically doing some really cheesy connect the dots. Click on P to reset, and I'm just following each one of those. And I'm gonna click on P. Now, whenever you're doing P to reset, just understand that, especially with the new version, it'll, it'll connect it, so you'll know right away, hey, it's still connecting, and then we can go. So let's just go through our process here. I'm gonna click on APG with handles. And we pretty much want that hiding just so it doesn't freak out everybody. <laughs> it's a little overwhelming to start with. But now that we have some points down, you're going to notice that our handles are showing as well. So everyone just go shift C. Underneath the pen tool, you're going to notice the anchor point tool. So we can have all of our straight lines first. And all we're going to do is click on it. I do have smart guide, so if you are using my setting here so i'll just pop up right for you we're just going to click on it it'll let you know when you have an anchor by the way and we are just going to pull these out until we are lined up with our line now you could go off of the anchor points and the handles or you can just go by the, the line either one is is fine done look at that look at how easy that was so i'm going to use the space bar Let's just find some other ones. I'm going to zoom out. So that was control minus. Let's do some of these. I can see this one. I can see that one. Let's just minus that. Okay, click on P. And again, all we're doing is straight lines first. Click on P to reset. Now, why we did this one for a challenge, well, one, it's called a challenge. So we wanted something that was a little bit more challenging. And number two is I want something that when we're done, you wouldn't have been able to do it without kind of going through a process. So we wanted to kind of give you a little bit of successes as we are going through this. We're going to come on back. Now, if, if this doesn't bother your brain, you could leave it on. I'm going to keep switching back and forth because I think it's going to be way more complicated to leave it on. Now, notice that this one was a little bit shorter. I'm going to click on A. A is our white arrow. I'm just going to hover until it says handle. And then I can just drag that back down. And just so you can see what the difference is. So if I go Shift-C, these are going to move together. 
if I stay on shift C, this one's gonna move independently. So if I'm looking for sharper corners, shift C and that is a good option for you. If I do A, notice that it does move it. So this will be more, much more of a smoother corner, but just notice that they will move together. So this is for a subtle curve where I want it to be a little bit more abrupt. There we go, shift C. I do have smart guides turned on. I'm holding down shift, by the way. Anytime you see horizontal and or vertical, we're gonna hold down shift. Just drag that guy right on over. If your smart guides are not turned on, just drop down to smart guides. I'm still on the anchor tool, by the way. So I'm still on shift C, hold down shift. So notice this one was a little bit shorter. Go back to A, white arrow. Just drag that guy over, hold down shift. Shift C. All right, good. I'm going to turn that guy off. All right, let's hover right there and let's do some some eyeballs. Now, in case you were ever curious on what my process would be, I would do all of my straight lines first, then come back and then start doing all of the uh, the anchor point tool. So let's just do this. Let's say that one's there. Now this one's going to continue all the way around. I'm just gonna stop right there, just so we can come back and show you how to connect the pen tool. So everything has a little purpose here. So I'm dragging down to the bottom here. I'm gonna go A by the way. And you can see this one way over there. Shift C, and this one might actually not be there. Let's give it a test, let's see what happens. Good, let's do a lips tool. Now I'm just gonna drag that guy out. Click on V, let's do a simple little rotate. And I'm just gonna use my arrow keys. And then I can just scale that down. Good, I'm gonna click on P, one, two. Click on Shift C, and then let's just drag that guy out right there. Good, click on C. Again, we're using this scissor tool. And I want one. Notice that it says path. Now if it doesn't know what you're selecting, remember zoom, zoom, zoom. I just want that bottom half. Click on delete. Click on pen tool. One, two, and three. Shift C. Good. Control minus just so we can see where things are going. And let's just shove that one right down here. Good. Click on the pen tool. Shift C. Good. Click on P. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and five. Shift C. Now, whenever I'm doing my lines, since we're going to be adding brushes, and that's going to come in one of the next tutorials here. All right, let's crank this little guy out. He is done. P. P. Good. Come on over here. P. One right there and one right there. Shift C. So this will be a little bit closer to my process whenever I am doing it, where it's just PPP, pen tool, pen tool, pen tool. And that's just to lay down those lines. And then I can come in and then I can mess around with any of those. So it doesn't hurt my eyeballs nearly as much since I drew my character. So as you start moving on to your own characters, it's pretty fast and it's just a very fast and efficient way of getting lines down and then you can always come back and edit. So there's a little bit of a process with just getting lines down, and then there's also a whole other process of editing. So in the next tutorial, we're gonna go through using a Wacom. So it is gonna be very efficient getting lines down, and you're gonna notice that a lot of our time is on the editing phase. All I'm doing is looking to see if we missed any stray lines. I think we are good to go. File save. Hard part is over. 
And realistically, this would be the hardest or most challenging part. Pen tool for a lot of students is the hard part, but hopefully at this point, you can kind of see that if you're just following these steps and especially the anchor point guides, that your life should be very, very easy. And what we're gonna do in the next tutorial is show you some different ways of adding on our brushes to make this a little bit more of a fancy process. And then we're gonna go through this the process. We're gonna go through how to add color, how to add value, and then how to complete our little pug character with highlights as well as some gradients. So we're gonna go all the way fancy with this, but definitely save and then I'll see you on the next tutorial. Congratulations, you guys did it.